the path discovery. So, uh, so how can we have or not have own path relationship anonymity? So that was the third, um, privacy perspective or privacy provision guarantee we wanted to aim for. So whenever the adversary is one of the routers in a payment path, then we want the adversary not to be able to tell who is the real sender and the real receiver of the payment. Um, so that's what this privacy guarantee says. And, uh, and here comes into the play that lightning is, is, is inherently, uh, a graph theoretical. It's a graph. So, and as of a graph, lightning is, is a small world graph. So, you know, there's this, it, it, I think, do you know, Max, this, uh, six degree of separation? So in the social graph of the world, it's, it was a conjecture that if the nodes are people and the connection between the people are friendships or, or that they know each other. So some kind of relationship. Then if we pick any two people on the world, like, I don't know, some random guy in Africa and some random guy in Asia, then there will be maximum six uh, people between them. So like one guy from Africa can introduce this guy to another in Europe. Then this Europe guy will know someone in Australia. And then so finally, after some hops, we can uh, arrive to Asia. Th th this this is called six degree of separation. So this is like intuitively, like tries to explain the phenomenon that no matter how big is the world or the social graph of the world, uh, the diameter of this graph is really small. Uh, like this is called the small world phenomenon. Or, or put differently, six, de six degree of separation. Is it something super known? Or maybe, I don't know. I'm just, uh. Mm -hmm. No, I, I think this makes sense. Or maybe to take this analogy now to the Bitcoin Lightning Network, right? Yes. The individual n nodes in the network are literally Lightning Network nodes and their connections in between them are payment channels, right? Yes. And so the question yes. is, if you have a node somewhere on the left side of the graph and a node somewhere on the right side of the graph, um, speaking as a map, right? How many payment channel hops, uh, do you have to go through before you can reach them? Um, and, exactly. you exactly. know, you use this in every lightning payment, right? Every lightning payment has three, four, five, maybe even six hops, right? So, but how does this all tie now into the privacy aspect? Yeah. So, um, so whenever you want to send a payment, let's model any kind of payment you might want to send in the Lightning Network as just we randomly pick two nodes on the graph. And then we try to, because this is how the clients are implemented currently. So clients strive for finding the cheapest route, route between the two nodes. So the cheapest route means essentially that the shortest path. And um, since Lightning is a so-called scale-free graph, so meaning that the lightning graph is a small world graph, uh, it means that usually uh, the shortest path between any two random nodes will be con will consist of one or two hops. So like uh, that's the vast majority of lightning nodes of lightning payments. And obviously, if there's a single router node, like let, let's, let's assume that Alice wants to send a payment to Bob and Eve is the, now Eve is the evil guy. E Eve is the router. Then with high probability, Eve can suspect that he is the only router node. So in that case, uh, it doesn't really matter that Eve doesn't know its exact place in the routing path. Eve only knows the predecessor node, Alice, and the uh, subsequent node, Bob. But if can just uh, say, I mean, okay, whatever. I don't know whether what's the length, exact length of this payment uh, path due to onion routing. But I can I can just uh, guess that I am the only router node because this is a super small graph. I mean, even in the even in the whole world's social graph has six degree of separation. Lightning is a way smaller graph and. Uh, you can imagine that here the 
we only have one or two degrees of separation.